A snail creeps six feet up a wall during the daytime. After all the labor it does throughout the day, it stops to rest a while, but falls asleep. The next morning, uh, it wakes up and discovers that it has slipped down two feet while sleeping. If this happens every day, how many days will the snail take to reach the top of a wall 18 feet in height? This is a clever logical puzzle. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try before checking the solution. Once done, continue watching the video for the right answer. Let me explain the solution step by step. According to the puzzle, a snail creeps 6 feet up a wall during the daytime and it slips down 2 feet while sleeping. So on the first day, the snail climbs up 6 feet and slips down 2 feet while sleeping. So next morning, it is 4 feet from where it started. The snail thus travels 4 feet upwards every day. Therefore, in 3 days, it has travelled a distance of 12 feet from the bottom. Here lies the catch to the problem. On the last day, the snail travels 6 feet upwards and hence reaches the top of the wall in a total of 4 days. So, snail requires 4 days to reach the top of the wall. Let me explain the alternate solution through equation. Let x be the number of days the snail takes to reach the top of the wall 18 feet in height. On the last day, the snail will reach the top by travelling 6 feet upwards and there will not be any question of slipping down. The number of remaining days excluding the last day are x minus 1. Since the snail climbs up 6 feet and slips down 2 feet while sleeping, it travels 4 feet upwards on each of these remaining days. Thus, distance travelled on last day plus distance travelled on remaining days equals wall height or 6 plus 4 times of x minus 1 equals 18. On solving this equation, we get 4 times x minus 1 equals 18 minus 6 which is equal to 12 or x equals 12 over 4 plus 1 which is equal to 4. So, snail requires 4 days to reach the top of the wall. By following this simple approach, we can solve these kind of problems in efficient way. That's all for this video. Let me know for any questions I will try to address as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting puzzle. Thank you.